Hi, and welcome to On Console, the video blog about my journey to become a certified NASA flight controller. Hi again, Jenny here. So first of all, I just want to say sorry, you guys. It's been so long since I posted another video. Um, life in general has been kind of hectic for me recently. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, but for this episode, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more um, about what's been going on, give you some updates on where I'm at in my training. Um, I do have some notes written up, ready to record for another technical episode. Uh, this one will be on the computers of the ISS, uh, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, what's been going on? So the last time I posted a video, I had just gotten my Go for Integrated Sims, uh, which is still on the mini sim flow. So a quick refresher, our operator training again is the uh, boot camp, our technical knowledge capture, our mini sims, and then the integrated sims, which is where your final and eventually your certification happens. So uh, my mini sims ended kind of end of March, early April, and since then me and my classmates have kind of been in a limbo state uh, waiting for the class ahead of us to get through and complete their integrated sims and get certified. So in the meantime, we've been doing a lot of sim following um, of the operator sims and specialist sims, which are a little bit more intense. And when I post or tweet about it, what we're doing is um, sitting either at our desks or in a back room in an MCC, listening to the loops and listening to the comments happening and thinking about what kind of calls we would make for certain types of failures and talking with an instructor or mentor about uh, the actions that the person in the sim is taking. Um, and so. It's a good learning experience all around, uh, and so that's been the majority of my time. Um, I've also been scheduling some practice sessions with uh, instructors and mentors to try and keep the dust off. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm not at the peak I was at the end of mini sims, kind of having that practice uh, almost every week. So I'm trying to make sure I hit the ground running when I do get into integrated sims and scheduling more of those uh, so I can feel more confident going into those. Um, and I've also been able to work on some technical projects as well. I've gotten to work on some code that I worked on as a co-op and inter slash intern. Um, and I've also gotten to work with a tool that will help automate some of our procedures and show the user a graphical user interface, GUI, um, to show where the procedure's at, where the tool is at um, in commanding so we can keep track of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but as of now, uh, I think myself and one other classmate are entering the integrated sims first. Uh, there's usually two per integrated flow. Um, and right now it's projected that we'll enter, I think, either end of June or July-ish. Um, it's not really sure up in the air right now, but... Except, uh, from the time that I wrote the notes for this episode to the time I'm recording it right now, things have changed. So, what changed? Well, a little bit of background, there's actually been tons of changes happening right now at JSC's Mission Control. Um, we've swapped rooms, we've swapped systems, and now the flight control positions, a lot of them, are changing how their training flow is for the new operators and new flight controllers. So right now, um, I am in the operator flow, which is what a lot of the flight control positions have. And so as an operator, I have a basic level technical knowledge of my systems. And so not necessarily, you know, all the documentation front and back, but enough to save the system and be trusted to be on console uh, when a big failure happens. Now, the specialists are the ones who actually come in and they diagnose and troubleshoot and recover from the big failures. Uh, the best analogy I've heard for it is the operators are kind of like EMTs and the specialists are kind of like the surgeons. Now, it used to be that uh, before people would go into the operator flow or go into the flow that would take you to the front room, um, they would get a backroom cert first. So as an operator now, I focus on technical information and my soft skills like communication, whereas the backroom focuses mostly on the technical knowledge. So you get all of your technical knowledge, um, including the specialist level knowledge at once, but you're not in the front room interacting with the big team and the flight director yet. You stay in the backroom for a while and you work up those soft skills um, until you are ready for the front room and then you get moved up there. So it used to be like that, and it's also changing back to that uh, for a lot of the flight control positions, including Cronus. And so there's been a lot of talk about um, when that's going to happen, when we're going to switch back over, what's going to happen to the classes that are caught in the middle of training right now. And so uh, they've been trying to push as many uh, people to certification initially right now before they do the switch. So I'm sure you can guess how this might impact me. 
So we were waiting on the class ahead of us uh, for our integrated sims because of that bottleneck that happens because there's usually only two people in that flow for the full eight hour days, but not anymore. So instead they're going to be splitting the integrated sim runs uh, for some of them into, the, uh, into two four hour half days and letting more people into the flow. So that means that my classmate and I will be entering integrated sims a little bit earlier uh, than we thought we were. How early? Drum roll, June 2nd. So I have a little bit less than two weeks before I will enter the final stage of my operator certification for ISS Mission Control. So that's where I'm at and that's where I'm going and I'm really excited. But for now, that's all for this episode. Be sure to check out my other sites and pages and take a look at the first or previous episodes if you haven't already. As always, thank you so much, especially now. Thank you so much for your patience uh, and for sticking with me. And I hope to see you next time and for many more as we get one step closer to being on console. Thanks, and have a great week.